I am a failure. Those four words were the ones I used to tell myself every single time I couldn't pass a test, couldn't do a simple chore, and couldn't help others. It broke me down, those four simple words kept repeating themselves. It first came to light when I was seven. I was about to do my grade two guitar piece. Whilst everyone was flawlessly playing their pieces, I started to become nervous. My legs started to shake and I started to shiver whilst my teeth grinded together. This was new. I've never felt this way before and it frightened me. Then it was my turn. I stood up, awkwardly carried my book and guitar to stage and looked around in fear. Why are they looking at me like that? Couldn't they see that I was scared, nervous, anxious to be up here? I darted my eyes across the room whilst my teacher tuned my guitar. I remember the exact words he told me. Good luck, Lucas. Have fun. This is exactly what did not happen. <laughs> I stood up, rapidly said the name of my piece to get it out, placed my leg on the stool and started playing. I went on to play first half of the piece well, but when it got to that specific bar line, it was done. The whole song was butchered. It collapsed. I started to get one note wrong, then another, then another, which just ended up in my hands stiffening up, everyone looking at me with blank expressions, and me just trying to get to the end of the piece alive. After bowing with shame, I had sunk into my chair and wondered about how much of a failure I was. My teacher comes up to me and says, it was only one mistake, Lucas. Don't beat yourself up about it. I expect you to think that was the last time I played guitar, but no, that one failure did not stop me from doing the thing I now love. With the help of the people around me, I kept playing guitar and I kept making failures, but this time I was getting more confident with it. I started to celebrate those failures, see them as stepping stones to where I am today, finish the last grade. Kennedy once said that only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Everyone here now has failed once, if not a million times. If it was a test, a diet, or failed to keep a simple promise, we all have. I look around and I see people scared to fail. They play the same recording inside their head, saying, if I'm gonna fail at this, I might as well not try. Yep, I recognize that sentence. That one phrase nearly stopped me from doing something else, kickboxing. Three years ago, as I kept walking to school, I passed the same kickboxing place repeatedly. One day I was a bit interested, so I took one of the flyers they had aside and took it home. Now, this looked promising, a whole new form of exercise and a new thing I've never tried before. As I, when I got home, I booked a free trial, and next thing I know, I was walking there all ecstatic to try this type of martial arts, thinking I'd be the next karate kid, you know, wax on, wax off. <laughs> As I walked up the steep steps, I could hear the grunting and mumbling from the, sh the teachers to the students, telling them to not give up. But honestly, it frightened me. Instead of walking, I started to creep up the last steps, as if someone were to attack me the second I walked through the door. When I got in, I saw people dodging punches and throwing kicks all over the place, even looking the teacher in the eyes and shivers down my back. He started shouting combinations, and the people around me formed a stance. This was one hour of pure hell. The sweat, the shouting, the pain that I had to endure was just unspeakable. I had to limp it back home. It was just enough time to me to decide that if I'm gonna fail at this, I might as well not try. After having this recording play inside my head for three weeks, I decided to do something about it. I realized that I let the fear of failure stop me from growing as a person, and by using the suffering as an excuse, I'd be doing that exact thing. So I flipped the script, I said screw it, and next thing I know, I was back into what I used to call hell, and what I now call a fun place to relax and relieve stress. Three years later, and I'm only one belt away from a black belt. Do you see the moral of the story? My fear of failure nearly cost me three years of fun, excitement, friendship, and my self-growth. Let me ask you a question. How do you expect to succeed if you don't fail? How do you expect to be the best entrepreneur, to be the best basketball player, to be the best person you want to be if you don't fail? Every time we fail, we are one step closer to the end goal. We are one step closer to being the best version of ourselves. But fail, fail a million times if you must. Just don't keep putting your energy on the same failure. Learn and move on. We must understand that to fail is to be human. Thank you.